All official tonight. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Wells comes to Texas Tech from Utah State, where he was the two-time Mountain West Conference Coach of the Year. KMAX David Collier joins us live from campus tonight with a reaction to tonight's news. David. Hey there, Brian and Lauren. Yeah, inside the Sports Performance Center, I'm sure something that Kirby Hokut used to sell Matt Wells on becoming Texas Tech's 16th head coach in program history. We talked about it yesterday. Don Williams from the AJ actually broke the news that negotiations had begun. And by this afternoon, things appeared to be finalized. Uh, Kirby Hokut holding a player meeting at 8 o'clock this afternoon to a or this evening to inform the team that Matt Wells was going to take over as the head football coach. He then came and visited with us uh, about 30 minutes ago to discuss the latest hire for the Red Raiders. It's with great enthusiasm that uh, we announced tonight that Coach Wells is going to be joining us as our head football coach, and I couldn't be more excited about that as we work through uh, our process uh, over the past number of days. Uh, he became our our focus and our candidate. And when you meet Coach Wells, I look forward to the Red Raider Nation and this community meeting him on Saturday. Uh, they're gonna be just as excited as I am. You'll see a head coach that has a ton of energy, uh, is gonna be very consistent, is gonna bring great discipline to this program. Uh, the first thing he told me is, Kirby, Texas Tech is not a rebuild. Texas Tech is in a reload position. And it's a program that uh, has great things ahead of it. And it would be a, a, a perfect fit for me to come to Lubbock, Texas and to lead this football program. I had the same feeling uh, after I met with Coach Wells as I did after I met with Coach Tadlock and Coach Beard. When I walked away from that meeting, I had that same type of feeling. That this is a gentleman who knows what he's doing that is going to serve as a, a head coach and be a great leader for this program. Again, Kirby Hokot joining us uh, just a few minutes ago here in the Sports Performance Center. Again, this is a six-year deal. Details of the contract still being finalized. Those will come out in the coming days. Uh, Coach Wells will be introduced formally at a press conference at 11 o'clock on Saturday at United Supermarkets Arena. That is open to the public. Other notes, he, he will be bringing his defensive and offensive coordinator with him from Utah State. Uh, Keith Patterson was the defensive coordinator a few years ago at Arizona State, a familiar face that the Red Raiders faced there in Tempe. And David Yost, another familiar face, uh, he's been all over the place. He actually spent time at Washington State briefly with Mike Leach. Uh, a lot of Red Raider fans might remember him from his Big 12 days where he coached the Missouri or with the Missouri Tigers, rather. Some of the quarterbacks that you might remember from him, Chase Daniel, Brad Smith. Unfortunately, Red Raider fans know all about Brad Smith, as well as Blaine Gabbard, a guy Texas Tech beat here in Lubbock several years ago. Of course, we'll have much more on the hire of Matt Wells coming up in the Red Raider Nation. Bailey Burmaster will join me. We'll talk about what Kirby had to say to the players as well as social media reaction to this hire. You can't please everybody, guys, but uh, Kirby Hokut, Hokut rather, doing his best to try to please the masses as they get ready for another Red Raider, uh, fo football season with the Red Raiders. Man, it's been a long five days, guys. Flight aware, airports. It has. Yeah. It has been a long, long five days and 100 hours. We were talking about that, too. Yeah, exactly.